Hello everyone, this is Michael from Western Reserve Independent Living Center coming to you with our latest newsletter. WRILC's Independent Living Newsletter, Issue 21-4, April 2021. Western Reserve Independent Living Center, Opening Doors to Independence. In this issue, 1. Will my stimulus check affect my Social Security disability benefits? 2. Free workshop. Achieve your goals. 3. Healthy living. Overcoming social isolation. 4. Recipe. TikTok tortilla wrap. How to try the new food challenge. 5. News and resources in brief. 6. Latest information and resources for the COVID-19 vaccination. 7. Transportation. Brief. 8. Calendar items for April. 1. Will my stimulus check affect my Social Security disability benefits? Courtesy of SSI slash SSDI Outreach, Access, and Recovery Center. The amount will not affect your eligibility as long as it is spent within a year. Since it arrived in the United States, the novel coronavirus has caused widespread sickness and is responsible for more than 500,000 deaths. It has also caused high rates of unemployment. As a result, the United States government recently passed the COVID-19 relief bill. One important component of this newest bill is a stimulus check for qualified Americans of up to $1,400 per person. If you currently receive disability benefits, you may be worried about how this stimulus payment affects you, as many disability programs consider recipients' income and assets for eligibility purposes. As an experienced Social Security Disability Benefits attorney can explain, this economic impact payment will not affect your disability benefits. The Social Security Administration, SSA, offers two types of benefits for Americans who are unable to work due to a disability. Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, and Supplemental Security Income, SSI. Of these two programs, only SSI is a needs-based program. This means that the SSA considers applicants' income and assets when making a decision on benefits. SSI is limited to individuals who are aged 65 or older, blind or disabled, and who have limited income and resources. For SSI purposes, income includes money earned from work, free food or shelter, and money received from other sources. Resources include things that a person owns that could be converted to cash. Determining what income and resources qualify for SSI can be complicated. The strict income and resources limits for this program have raised questions for people who SSI about whether their stimulus check will lead to them being declared ineligible for benefits. According to the SSA, these economic impact payments will not be income for SSI purposes. The stimulus checks will also be excluded from resources for a period of 12 months. In other words, as long as you spend the money within 12 months, it won't be counted as a resource. Because SSDI benefits do not examine income or resources, Stimulus payments won't affect eligibility for these benefits. Because you must have low income to qualify for SSI benefits, 
anyone who receives this type of disability benefit will be eligible for the full amount of the economic stimulus payment. As long as you don't hold on to the money, such as by putting it into a savings account, then it won't be deemed a resource in the future. 2. Free Workshop. Achieve Your Goals. Join us live on Fridays at 1 p.m. to learn how to change habits and achieve your 2021 goals. Living Well in the Community is a health and well-being workshop for people who want to set goals to support their quality of life and well-being. WRILC will present the workshop on Google Meet. You will learn about how to choose and set quality of life goals, problem-solving skills and managing emotions, improving health by changing daily habits, practicing self-advocacy. Join WRILC hosts for this peer support program. Captioning is available as well as telephone-only participation. April 9th, 16th, 23rd, and 30th, 1 p.m. until 2.30 p.m. Join with Google Meet, meet.google.com forward slash cwf-zjns-dto. Join by phone, 269-804-3948, PIN 234-018-362, followed by pound. 3. Healthy Living Great at-home activities to overcome social isolation, courtesy of the Malden Group and Cynthia Casterline. Doing the right thing can be lonely. Humans are social creatures. It's in our nature to come together both physically and emotionally. But when staying apart is a matter of public health, it's equally natural to feel isolated and lonely. Social connection is an important aspect of overall well-being. The longer the isolation, the higher the risk of developing depression or anxiety. Some proven benefits of social connectedness include disease prevention, fewer physical health problems, longevity, length of life, improved cognitive function, better self-esteem, sense of well-being, and maintained purpose in life. Feeling a sense of connection and belonging with others is a basic human need. There are many ways to combat this, and people have been finding new and creative ways to stay engaged and productive no matter the circumstance. Here are just a few great strategies for staying connected during quarantine. 1. Go virtual. One great way to safely socialize with family and friends is to schedule regular social contact by phone or video call. Although virtual communication may not feel the same as in-person contact, it's much better than no contact at all. Video chatting, using FaceTime, Zoom, or Google Meets, or Facebook Messenger allows you to see your loved one's facial expressions, which research suggests can help prevent loneliness. Instead of canceling your weekly dinner or book club meeting, try holding them online instead. Even just a 10-minute check-in can make a difference and setting up a recurring schedule can give you something to look forward to. You can join a virtual workshop like our own Healthy Community Living, or check out this local initiative developed by We Thrive Together, which offers 
a listing of virtual activities to help reduce loneliness. Information regarding their programming can be found at www.wethrivetogether.org. 2. Spend time in nature. If you're lucky enough to live near an uncrowded park, hiking trail, or other natural space, take advantage of it. Getting outside can help mitigate feelings of isolation. Research suggests that being in nature can increase your well-being and foster a sense of connectedness, even when you're doing it alone. This may be because the natural world reminds us that we're a part of something larger than ourselves, an experience that can evoke the feeling of awe may also have other health benefits, such as improved immune function. 3. Explore other worlds. Get absorbed in a fictional world. During lonely times, fictional characters in TV shows, books, or other media can serve as social surrogates, giving us a greater sense of community. It is also now possible to travel right from your chair. Visit museums, other countries, or cities. Check out Travel and Leisure's 12 Famous Museum Tours. These outlets can also provide a much-needed distraction from a nerve-wracking news cycle. Although it's important to stay informed, it's also important to give our minds a rest. 4. Make and engage with art. Art has an uncanny way of communicating feelings that can't be put into words. By sharing art with others, you are able to connect in a meaningful way, even at home. The Unlonely Project, www.artandhealing.org, has created a community through its Stuck at Home Together initiative. Here you can watch a short film, then participate in an online conversation. You can also view others' art or even share your own. And if you're not sure how to get started, the group has designed creative challenges like crafting a self-portrait from objects found around the house. 5. Participate in an online exercise class. Exercise is vital for both physical and mental health. Fitness classes, in particular, are great for providing social support and structured workouts and the energy of an enthusiastic instructor can often be contagious. Be on the lookout for fitness class live streams at places like St. Joe's at the mall, who offers virtual fitness classes on their Facebook page. Western Reserve Independent Living Center can help you stay productive and independent during social isolation. While there is still so much uncertainty, that doesn't mean you're alone. We will be a true community again soon. At Rilk, it is our goal to help people with disabilities live their best lives independently. If you would like to learn more about our services, check out our website at wrilc.org or call us at 330-372-3325. 4. Recipe 
TikTok Tortilla Wrap. How to Try the New Food Challenge by Cynthia Casterline. Recipe ideas, courtesy of TikTok and Taste of Home. Throughout the pandemic, TikTok has been a go to place to find exciting new recipes and fun food hacks. A new method for making wraps at home is going viral for its ease, simplicity, and flavor filled options. The hack is simple enough. Simply take a tortilla, cut a slit into it, and cover each of the four quarters of the tortilla with a different spread or ingredient. Once you've added your choice of flavorings, take the cut edge of the tortilla and fold it into four quarters. From there, you can put it in a panini press for a few minutes or place it in a preheated pan until it's toasted on both sides. As you can see from the ideas below, the real win of this hack is how customizable it is. This is a great idea for those Easter leftovers and makes for a great healthy or not so healthy lunch or snack. Tips and tricks Use a burrito sized tortilla. Don't overfill. Put ingredients that are best fresh or less warm in quarters 1, lower left corner, and 2, upper left corner. Put ingredients that should be melted and or warm in quarters 3, lower right corner, and 4, upper right corner. These will come in direct contact with the heat. If using anything that melts, like cheese, Put it in quarter four to act as glue. Tortilla wrap combinations. Sweet tortilla wrap ideas. Bananas, strawberries, whipped cream, chocolate or Nutella spread, peanut butter and jelly, fruit, yogurt, and granola, like a parfait, but in a wrap. Bananas, peanut butter, chocolate or Nutella, crushed graham crackers, marshmallows, chocolate, brown sugar, cinnamon, butter, cream cheese, applesauce, apple slices, almond butter, cream cheese, cinnamon sugar. Savory tortilla wrap ideas. Breakfast inspired. Eggs, bacon, ham, sausage, cheese, hash browns. Pizza. Tomato sauce, pepperoni, cheese, or mushrooms, or any other pizza topping. Buffalo chicken or ranch. Philly cheesesteak. Steak, peppers, onions, cheese. Pesto, spinach, red onions, deli sliced turkey, sliced cheese, sour cream, diced tomatoes, shredded lettuce, queso, cooked taco meat, tortilla chips, shredded cheese, turkey, bacon, avocado. 5. News and Resources in Brief WRILC Offering New Virtual Workshops WRILC strives to connect all individuals living with a disability with independent living skills training to ensure information, knowledge, and power to live a full, productive life. The curriculum we use was developed by the University of Montana Rural Institute called Healthy Community Living. The program will support opportunities for people with disabilities 
to live well and participate fully in their communities. It includes three peer-led independent living workshops, community living skills, living well in the community, and working well with a disability. Each workshop has been developed through partnerships with people with disabilities with the Association of Programs for, for Rural Independent Living, APRIL, and Centers for Independent Living, CIL, apostrophe S. Yes. For more information or to sign up, Call the WRILC office at 330-372-3325. Please leave a message with your name and phone number if the call goes to voicemail and someone will get back to you. Working Well with a Disability, WWD, is a seven-week workshop within the HCL program for people who want to develop a healthy lifestyle to help get and keep a job that meets their needs. Community Living Skills, CLS, is a 10-week workshop within the HCL program for people who want to build their independent living skills. Living Well in the Community, LWC, is a 10-week workshop within the HCL. 6. Latest information and resources for the COVID-19 vaccination. Eligible individuals may register for COVID-19 clinics weekly at 6. Latest information and resources for the COVID-19 vaccination. Eligible individuals may register for COVID-19 clinics weekly at https colon gettheshot.coronavirus.ohio.gov. Recommended browser is Google Chrome, which you will be prompted with eligibility questions and provided with availability of clinics within 20 miles of your zip code. Upon completing the registration process, you will be pro provided a confirmation number via email or mobile phone text with your appointment information. For those individuals who do not have access to a computer, you may call this main line at 330-675-2000. Eight nine for assistance in getting scheduled. 7. Transportation News Rides on all WRTA buses are free through June 30th, 2021, so there will be no cost for residents to ride to and from the mass vaccination events. As always, if you have any transportation questions or concerns, call WRILC's Transportation Advocate, Carl Clemens, at 330-372-3325, extension 108. Thank you for taking the time out for our newsletter. Western Reserve ILC is a local 501c3 nonprofit agency serving the needs of persons with disabilities in Astabula, Columbiana, Mahoning, and Trumbull Counties. We are a community-based, non-residential agency whose core services are free. If you would like to receive a Braille, email, or audio copy of this newsletter each month, please contact us to find out more about becoming a WRILC consumer. You can contact us at 330-372-3325.